Ever since Super Robot Wars V, pilots have been able to acquire all pilot skills, and aren't limited to 7 like in previous games. For better or for worse, this has made the games much easier in terms of difficulty. In this video, I will go over my top 3 skills every pilot should have, regardless of if it's a real robot, super robot, support unit, or battleship. These will also apply to Super Robot Wars V, X, T, and 30. This list won't include the more expensive skills, like attack or EXE bonus, or skills like potential or instinct, as those are more unit specific. These skills are universally powerful, and should be picked up no matter the unit, and before most other skills. Obviously if you're rich on pilot points, just give everyone every skill because at that point who cares. With that said, let's get into it. The first skill I want to highlight is Preemptive Strike. This skill gives your pilot the XL and Persist Spirits on turn 1. Not all pilots have XL, and plus 3 movement is very strong. This allows most units to get into attack range right at the beginning of the stage, getting damage out as soon as possible. It's basically a free hit with Persist, too. I highly value getting as much done during the first turn as possible, so pick this one up for every main pilot. The second skill is Fighter's Spirit and this one synergizes with Preemptive Strike. This one raises pilot's starting morale up to plus 20 at EX. With upgrades to the AOS, most units with this skill will have enough morale to use their strongest attacks right away, one-shotting most grunts depending on the unit and attack. As I said with Preemptive Strike, getting as much done in the first turn as possible is ideal. Using multi-action is also highly recommended early on for this, despite the possible energy draining. And lastly, Hit and Run, or Hit and Away. This skill is pretty much necessary for units with map attacks, as it's the only reliable way of setting them up. Unless they're post-movement ones, which are rare. Still, units without map attacks will get a lot of use out of this skill, as movement is one of the more important aspects in this game. If a unit is low on HP, they could do a quick hit and run if necessary. Or you could have a super hit an out of position enemy, and then run them into the middle of the rest of their team. Not being able to move after hitting an enemy just feels crippling to me at this point. Always having the option to move is nice. And that's it for my top 3 skills every pilot should have. These will make any unit you have more useful, even if you haven't upgraded them much, or if they're a support unit. Honorable mention to ignore size and second attack. Ignore size is especially important on size S units, giving upwards of 30% more damage, depending on the size of the enemy unit. Second attack is better than attacker at lower damage levels but requires some high levels or points in the skill stat, which are expensive. Let me know in the comments what you think about these skills, or if you have skills that you think are better. I'd like to hear it. In any case, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.